be right with you guys. <clears throat> I'm just warming up the stone of scone to make a neutronium joke. <clears throat> um, before I lose you. Um, yeah, okay, I guess it's time to do another little special on the Arca Covenant. Speaking of neutronium fragments, uh, as I mentioned before, the ones in your Ark Covenants, uh, and I understand there's still three, were actually, well, they're, you know, ship reactor cores, uh, the remnants. After things went bad, and, well, whatever, right? Eh? If you're interested, I'll put the links right there in the pond on top of the ice uh, and you can go back and review what I've <clears throat> um, sketched out for you to uh, do your own exposés or dissertations in edutainment video format for you and generations to enjoy and know who you were and, and keep in mind you can always go back and edit isn't that the beauty about a digital archive which unfortunately is all completely undone by the fact that it's crap tech that was leaked to you guys so you would fail through no fault of my own absolutely no fault of my own ain't that right could be released me fuck off get that fucking camera off of me I told you I quit okay Cindy can I say? Yeah, well, so, um, what, will we just jump, uh, just in case you don't, uh, get the message I was sending through, uh, about your channel, uh, Bat Ashnira or whatever, uh, Brian Golightly, a.k.a. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Jesus, or as some would say, Mr. False Jesus, or as others would say, in complete hubris, Mr. Wannabe Jesus. <laughs> hey, I... I, I'm going with your show. I like it. <clears throat> I always have, even even when it became not worthwhile because the lines of communication were cut off by the Australian mimickers and you know why not. Uh, so anyhow, yes, your uh, oops broke my eye smoke, which I'm in extreme need of right now. Here, let's do this. There you go. So you don't get dizzy. Um. Okay. Bear with me, I'll be with you in a minute or two. Go, go, uh, fill your tea or go have a pee or whatever. And come back. Ah, there we are. Guys, come on. You don't have to be in the fucking this garbage, but let me do it, okay? Don't be distracting me. Thank you, dogs. My lovely friends. <laughs> I know. Can we go gold panning yet? <laughs> We're really sick of this not so lucrative YouTube scam. Oh, okay. Before I tie into the, uh, the more robust data archive and the, the dangers of it when it, you know, long after it's been spent as an uh, engine reactor catalyst and, you know, source of neutrons, right? Um, fast neutrons. Um, yeah, okay, uh, going on to the, uh, the Internet Police Copyright Division. Uh, you may have gotten a few, uh, uh, I don't know, actually probably nothing's getting out because YouTube's, or at least some nefarious employees and contractors at YouTube are double dipping and behind this. Jaren fucking teeth. So, you know, they'll do their best to fucking make sure nobody ever hears what I fucking got to, to warn you about so we can save this fledgling beta prototype of the data archive that we call the Googleplex. I guess we'll call it that now, seeing how that's the overlord corporation. Uh, built on taxpayers' money. <coughs> and data investors like me, you the commenters, and even the viewers that go to the effort of sharing a link 
So uh, hopefully you all have seen a couple of nice, polite, well, well worded, non libelous uh, examples of where I <clears throat> stumbled onto mainly out of India once again. Uh, monetized copyright material that clearly didn't belong to the uh, channel owner. Um, who's probably could just be a bag person or a, or a clone. Okay, so go ahead, use that template and, you know, warn these people, watch it through. And for your comment, leave them a, uh, uh, geez, uh, clearly you're not, uh, you don't seem to be the uh, lawful owner of this copyright protected material, uh, like the uh, KISS concert. So, um, I'm going to ask you to demonetize it, unmonetize it, however you wish to say that. Of course, you know, I like the uns. <coughs> to uh, undo the UN, which was a wonderful idea, fucked over right from the start. So, uh, unmonetize, and let me know once you've complied, and I'll be back in a few days, and if not, well, I am obligated to report this crime you committed in front of my eyes and made me complicit to as copyright infringement. Especially you in Canada, the law requires that of you as well as in many other lands. Uh, and well, hey, you watch copyright protected material without permission or paying the fees, well now you're, you're part of the crime. So, uh, you know, do you want to undo that? Then fulfill your legal obligations to act to make it stop. Which doesn't mean, on a suspicion, Clicking the piss out of the flag button like the uh, sock puppets have been doing to take off our completely legitimate and often 100% original edutainments. Right? No. First you approach them because you don't know for sure. And you diligently remind them and everyone else that's going to see your comment. Assuming they don't remove it because they think they can continue on wrecking everything. Uh... Everything being the data archive potential. As well as all the work you've put up. Well, why the fuck is Google going to bother letting anyone see yours? They're going to take it to this pirated stuff. And I've explained the obvious master plan in the devious minds of some mega parasites. And I'll put the link there. But touch quite well on it. And uh, what the uh, master plan uh, counterinsurgency for the chosen ones that scammed Hollywood and laundered all that money through it for, for centuries. And well, you know, now we come along and, and uh, well, a little over a century actually. And um, by doing the right thing and wanting to do what mass communications is, is, is for primarily, not subjugating people, but emancipating them, dissolving them of their ignorance and empowering them to A know themselves, and B, serve life, starting with their own and investing outwards, right up beyond Star Trek. Hey, you can't share your creativity, you got no fucking chance. If you have to be fucking told everything like a Borg, well, we all know how the Borg make out. If not, well, just wait and you'll see. But, but I suggest you do it from afar. <laughs> If you ever want to leave this singularity <clears throat> in growing progress. So, uh, get merchant on uh, the Googleplex nearest you. <clears throat> There's a link, and of course I'm not talking about marching. Unless, you know, you wanted to go see as a, as a, as a partner or an investor or just a fan. You wanted to go see your nearest Googleplex and have a tour and, you know, learn about it and see how you can enhance it. Uh, if not now, then when it becomes a co-op after we save it from the Hollywood thugs that are being useful idiots and gonna get fucked over too because nobody needs their fucking bullshit. Especially their fucking laundering. Their fucking double and triple dipping into the bag. It's all about... Can't launch... An RFID cyber chip. I'll put the, put the link there. Currency serving system. Without 
having your entire infrastructure ready to go. And how are you going to do that? Well, by getting the public to fund Bread and Circus, like our YouTube, only we had different plans. And I'm sorry, but as I've told the devil, your Jesuses, your gods, your, your, your Vishnus, your Hare Krishnas, and all of them, I'm sorry, but you made a deal. You're not going to fuck your way out of it if you can't fucking uh, honor your deal. Uh, providing you cease hostilities right away. Fine, we'll find you a way out. Okay, I'm always ready to cut into it. So, as you all know, Ragnarok's on its way. If you've read any of those links, then I'll put it right there. <sighs> One more time. For you to pass around or enhance or request to, to, to mirror them yourselves with a link back to me. As I've yet to fucking have on the the few people that had the fucking balls to actually ask permission. Keep the lines of communication open and the data keeps growing. Try and fuck me? Fuck you. Get the fuck away from me and out of the... Out of the data archive, because it's not a place for that kind of fucking shit. We don't have fucking created scarcity on my fucking earth. So, Magnetar makes Neutronium, which is basically <sighs> matter compressed and conditioned and cooled in such a way that what you're left with is neutron-rich matter, a Magnetar. Uh, <sighs> there's some links right there for you. To help you refresh your mind. So whatever, going back to Doc Atomic's boring story. Blah, blah, blah. Space storm. Ships have to, to fall out of the heavens and, 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 you know, some of them crash land. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, do your thing, doggons. And, and, and then get home. Okay, good. You're going you're gonna to try and complete your mission as best you can. And, you know, do something for your neighbors. And try and restore the dominant... Hominids as, as, as best you can and blah blah blah. Okay, well obviously a few of the last ships and reactors weren't cool enough and you, Okay, well, what are we going to do with the neutronium? We can't take back for proper disposal. Well, let's make a data archive and and uh, we can Leave a guiding light a holy ghost. I think as some of you put it uh, not to be confused with pre-programmed schizophrenia, but Pretty much the same thing in the end user's effect. Uh, yeah, we're talking voices in your head, whatever. Not to be confused with human creativity, mission and match and all the fucking data and experiences in there. And, you know, sometimes being a little incoherent for the user, uh, the creator of the data, the re-creator of the data, the recombiner of the data to spew out. Uh, well, and then, you know, you set up all those complex negative social interactions, and there you, that schizophrenia. Okay, so we're not talking about any of that. We'll talk, we'll call it your holy ghost, seeing how today's focus is on splitting the Mount of Olives, or the Three Mounts, or whatever, at the Vatican, you know, The Sea of the White Sun, the Sea of the Black Sun, which is, you know, obviously a burnt out star, black hole, what have you. <clears throat> the end stage of all matter, <sighs> or the unlucky matter, I should say. The two thirds that ends up in a cold absolute zero for a state of being. Burnt out singularity, super, supernova. 
too cool and too distant from any future matter to ever go back into the free expanding state of energy and matter that you know provides everything you know and experience from that gamma ray burst to to that little firefly lighting up in your face to the to the to you and to the biota the 500 billion biota that live in your body little creatures and all hum away as one if you're lucky am I burning you guys? why don't you finish digging your hole whatever you're digging up there hmm? well you don't have to be in this class you want to? should I turn the camera around guys? I don't think so <laughs> you want to show your joy? This is a nice thing. <laughs> they would just as soon I shut the camera off right now. But this is for Brian. Because uh, he tried to edutain so many and gets so little back. If I can find your channel again or access it or, you know. <clears throat> If the Googleplex decides, yeah, you can communicate, but we'll be tampering with it. Yeah, I know. That's, that was your bottom line, eh? That's where you guys walked? I know. But. So you get, the, uh, you get the storm rolling even, you know, if you look back at Fukushima, even the right kind of inclusions can set that off and... They can do that with neutron breeding. Well, yeah, they can. They can certainly reinitiate a um, cooling off uh, shard of neutronium, uh, which you had some leftovers from those that couldn't leave. Um, you know. Pyramids where the engine stands, right? That's where you dump your core and that's where you rebuild your engine and fly it back up to meet with your mother's ship in orbit. And Because uh, that's always the hard thing getting out of this kind of a gravity well, isn't it? <clears throat> where you don't want to, you know, obliterate the environment below you. <clears throat> so, there you have it. It's cooled off. Well, We'll leave it for a... Oh, I hate using this word. Cloud computing! Like system. You know, like like on Star Trek, I guess. We can, yeah, that's a little more favorable. <clears throat> Don't mean you pe to make you people barf by thinking anything about Microsoft and build the brain bug Gates. And how he deals with belief and creativity in the in the Homo sapien mind, and or intends to. And you can be sure they tested it or mimicked it to suck him for more money in the secret test labs on, you know, captives. So you got this book of life, as I've called it. Uh, which basically that's what these arcs, how many ever there actually were left behind, I don't know. I was uh, well on my way to, well, no, I, between Earth and Buddhist Epsilon system, bring it back, well, that of course. <laughs> big, 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 big glutes. Ceres and Pluto, right? We've, we've been through that. And uh, Phobos was the main uh, tractor. Um, so just like you can take old spent depleted uranium because of the density and make a great hard drive. Well, not unlike that you can do... Uh, I'll loosely use your term quantum computing only it's you know it's more like in spectral colors and frequencies as opposed to you know just on off on off 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 on on off 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 on 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 off 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 off
And there you go, as it cools off. Um. <clears throat> Obviously, quit working, and it's a whole network, and it actually broadcasts through H2O! So, you know, it's not, as I've told you before, not unlike uh, very long frequency arrays that, that they poof out the back of a submarine to talk through the water in the electromagnetic spectrum. Not unlike that, and you know, it'll transmit through anything, but you know, you want to try and get a homogeneous, predictable conductor, so you know, why not use the aquifer system on a planet? Uh, far less prone to you know, solar weather irregularities and um, so you know there there you have it um, they don't last forever nothing ever does they didn't make it right they didn't they had no idea what their reinitialization of the hominid remnants were were gonna produce I mean fuck fuck does a doggone know about a human if they've never seen him? What, what would you know about a doggone if you'd never seen him before, right? Or a Fakari or Ibigubu or whatever. Duckbilled platypus. A goat! Never seen a goat before? Fuck you right up. What the fuck? What, what them slits in the eyes? What the fuck is this? Um, you know, and then you'd freak the goat out and blah, blah, blah. So you guys didn't take it out from the Vatican when you still could, like I fucking told you, assuming you got the messages, what, what's it been like 16 months since I <clears throat> swallowed my better fucking judgment and fucking uh, bothered going and talking to the Vatican through the uh, YouTube channels and uh, <clears throat> warned you. To fulfill your obligations and reduce, release all the data you had, you didn't. Uh, I'm sure you'll talk about it for, you know, another couple of decades and, and have another council in Nicaea and decide to make yourselves important like all institutionalized pecker heads do. Well, and clitoris heads um, and everything in between and, uh, you know, because that's your... That's how deficient you are. That's, you know, end of your nose. That's, that's where your precept of serving 